in Capital Bank, we always have our top priority for customer centricity and for customer service. And I think as the customer needs and the technology demands arise and evolve over the time, we continuously make change to our strategies to try to bring the best for our customers in terms of service. And I think I may proudly say that Capital Bank is actually one of the leaders, one of the first banks in Azerbaijan to lead the digital transformation in financial sector. And uh, this journey is actually brings us to a great achievements. Uh, in our digital bank strategy, we always focus and we always in the center uh, of the, you know, the monitoring and reacting to changing customer needs. And for sure, the big data analytics helps us in that. So we're trying to track the customer behaviors across different platforms and in different things. We try to understand the customer needs much more better. And for instance, in, in our mobile app, which is Beerbank, and it's already a big digital platform. It serves more than 3 million customers in, on a monthly basis. Uh, we constantly get feedbacks from customers and these feedbacks actually really helps us uh, and other great inputs to change and to improve our services and products. Artificial intelligence and big data analytics helps also uh, in that sense. And for instance, our AI integrated uh, virtual assistant helps us both in our call center and in our chat platforms and analyze the customer behaviors in the real time and try to suggest the best actually set solutions for customers online. And I think we would elaborate the um, AI more in the nearest future. And one big thing also to mention in our digital strategy is that Capital Bank is actually in the center of uh, the creation of a great big ecosystem in Azerbaijan and we would allow our customer to actually with a single login assess both banking and beyond the banking solutions. Uh, for sure, the big data analytics and uh, data modeling uh, these days is uh, very important for Capital Bank for both actually customer service and risk management. And we as Capital Bank always try to follow the best solutions and best practices of uh, foreign uh, countries and for also international payment systems and international financial uh, blocks. So uh, for customer service, uh, data analytics and big data analytics and um, machine learning actually helps us much in the understanding of customer needs and the behaviors of customers. And we would try to understand what customers' requirements are even before they require that and they uh, come to us. So as a very simple example, uh, if a customer's block suddenly their pin cards, pin on the card, do we, we uh, proactively contact customers through our outbound calls or through our push notifications in our mobile platforms, suggesting them to change the pin or to like uh, unblock the pin even before they contact us. And also us being a big bank in terms of number of grants we are having about 200 points of sales and service physically uh, in Capital Bank uh, as well. We try to track the customer interactions with bank on a different platforms and different channels. Would that be mm, chats? Would that be call center? Would that be branch or in digital platforms? And we try to create somehow a holistic view of a customer so they don't repeat themselves in that sense. So the main goal is here is once again to be proactive with customers, try to understand the behavioral patterns and suggest the best solutions for their like questions and challenges.
But for uh, risk management, actually, it's also very important. And our machine learning models help much because of the enormous like amount of data points that we analyze over time. And I think that we can analyze now the millions of transactions already. And that really helps us to like elaborate on potentially fraudulent actual transactions that could be there. This, this one is also a very serious agenda for us as we are quite good in finance and the digital transformation, but we also see the responsibility for us to help with developing the innovation culture and innovation ecosystem in Azerbaijan. And there are several directions that we move in uh, there. So one is, uh, I think, us supporting the startups and we do very many things with, I think, tens of startups also helping them, but they, them helping us for our customer service and they, and some for the internal processes of Capital Bank. Uh, one other direction is like we, what we are doing with the Ministry of Science and Education of Azerbaijan, where we together uh, with them and with the universities, helping students to understand the innovation agenda there. One of the directions is what we do with the sponsoring and supporting the different summits and uh, festivals. We are annually, we are having a great Emerge Innovation Summit in Azerbaijan and it's one, one of the main sponsors. It's a great event for the region actually, where we gathering the innovative speakers and the startups and different the people from very, very different countries all over the world. And uh, we are really proud to also be speakers there. And uh, one thing also to mention here is that we not only support the external uh, innovation, but we also focused uh, as well in for the internal part of it. We internally developed the innovation culture within Capital Bank. And together with our shareholder, we are running a kickbox Mm, pro projects where employees of Capital Bank may come with a different, not only financial action, any uh, startup idea, and we're helping them both on finance side, on the development, co-development side, and with marketing and with, um, you know, some trainings to go to market things. Sustainability is one of the main actually topics nowadays in Azerbaijan in, in, and in Capital Bank. As we are, uh, everyone probably knows, hosting COP29 Great Summit these days actually in uh, Azerbaijan. It's a very, very big event. And us together with Central Bank, with uh, Az Azerbaijan Banking Association and with our shareholder, we are like having a great effort in that sense but standalone as capital bank we also are very focused and we like just recently published our esg report that's being done with uh international company together and we in our strategy focus much on the sustainability issues uh would that be you know the inclusivity of financial services and we're trying to once again, be much more digital these days to also reduce the paper works in our interactions with customers. And it helps in terms of the speed of the transaction, but also it helps environmentally. And also we have a very special fund. It's called Red Hearts Foundation, which is um, doing our much more our CSR agenda as Capital Man. It's a special fund and it's like through this fund that just recently for the, I think last year, we planted more than 1000 of trees. We, you know, uh, cleaned, I think many, many hectares and several tons of waste. We, uh, recycled, I don't know how many batteries and so on. We try to be the number one cho choice of the customer. And that brings with it not only being great in financial, but also the responsibility to the society when you work, 
for Azerbaijan and the, the whole world that we live in.